What's up, boys? Welcome back to the channel. So, as you can see, we're going to continue right where we left off. It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff.
the door was barred from the other side. I'd have to find another way. open, okay? As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deerfest is almost here, isn't it? I, I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff, which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't gonna say anything. I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know, uh, a lot more of it. Now, is it just me, or does Deerfest get wilder every year? People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier and younger. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but... Definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. Uh... Oh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Not just me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's wilder, Pat, but actually most of the trouble seems to be coming from grown men. People who ought to know better, you know? Kids are doing fine this year. Well, that's nice to hear, at least. Boys, I want to thank you for stopping by. I'll let you get back to your patrol. Sure thing, Pat. Yeah, sure thing, Pat. Okay. side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods.
Oh, come on. Any more of those around? Alright, boys. Let's let Barry through. Al? Is that you out there, buddy? Yeah, it's me. Hang on. Let's go, Barry. Hey, let's go, man. I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. It's pretty heavy. Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should no feel right at home then. Valhalla. Come on, one more gig. Let's do this thing. Wait, I don't like the I don't like the look of that chainsaw. Old gods know the truth. Yeah, I feel like that's literally just already sitting there, primed and ready to go for someone, like a Taken, to come and grab it. The lights are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. Alright boys, I mean, that's where I'm going to go ahead and end it for tonight. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.